Alright, in this tutorial we are going to be working in SketchUp again and we're going to choose a template, feed and inches, and we're going to make a little bit more of an advanced house. Okay, so when I get into here I want to make sure that my uh, getting started toolbar and my large tool set and my measurements are already set there. Um, they should have been set from the last tutorial. If, if you want to change those, you go to view, toolbars, make sure that getting started and measurements are set. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to create a base for my house. Okay, And what I want to do is, if you look in the bottom left hand corner, is I want, to, I want exact dimension. So I want a 50 by 70 house. So to do that, as I start pulling this out, if I just go to my keyboard and I start typing in 50, you see down it's actually typing that in in my dimensions. Then I hit the foot sign, which is the apostrophe. Um, and then I need to separate uh, length by uh, length by width. So I need to put in a comma. So now I'm at 50 and then apostrophe, which is the foot sign, comma. And I type in 70, the apostrophe again, or the foot sign, and enter. That gives me a perfect 50 by 70 rectangle. So you can see that now. It's 50 by 70. If I wanted to measure it, this should be 50. And it is exactly 50. Okay. Um, I want that because I want your measurements to be exact here. Okay, that's one way that you do it. Uh, we're going to create, uh, let me see, a different sided house. So I'm going to start lifting up this house, and I can do the same thing here. Let's say I want my house to be 20 feet. Well, as I start lifting it up, if I just go to 20, put in the feet sign, you'll see that it goes to exactly 20 feet. If I measure it, guess where we're at? We're right at 20 feet. Okay, that gives us an exact measurement. Okay, next thing we're going to do is I'm going to create kind of a, oh, we'll say an L shape to our house. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out, let's say, 20 feet. So as I start pulling this out, I'm going to type in 20, put my foot, and that'll go out 20 feet. So from there, I'm going to put in a guideline right here. Okay, so that tells me I'm right at 20 feet. And from here, I can push-pull this out. So I'm going to push-pull this out and it gives me um, and I'm gonna I'm a, it actually is a little bit too narrow for me so I'm gonna take that and we're gonna kind of make our house like that okay from here we're gonna lift it up okay so to do that I'm gonna take my pencil tool I'm gonna go along our edge here until it turns light blue that's our midpoint so I'm gonna start coming over and I'm gonna look for a reference I'm gonna look for the midpoint here Okay, it snaps to, to my midpoint here. Then you'll see the red line being drawn over. And I'm going to click, and then I'm going to go straight across over here. Okay, so now I'm at midpoint and midpoint. I'm then going to attach a line here and a line over here to my corner. And then I'm going to select these two main lines here. Okay, so to select multiple lines, I'm going to hold down, I'm going to just click on the first line. And then I'm going to hold down shift, and that's going to allow me to click my second. Now you see that I uh, selected here. I don't want that, so I'm going to unselect just by left clicking. And I'm going to try it again. One more time. I'm going to go in a little bit closer. Man, this is finicky. Okay, so we got it. We got the two lines, and now we're going to lift up our roof. So I go to my move tool, and I like to get at this angle right here and I'm going to just lift up. Okay. Now as I do, let's say I want this lifted up uh, six feet. We'll go seven feet. Okay. So I just put in my seven and my feet and it lifts it straight up seven feet. And that way you're not guessing about how big it is. Okay. So we have a nice looking house, you know, right there. Now if you wanted it, you know, to expand it out a little bit, well, you can just push pull here. You know, you can push pull here. It's e very easy to do. Okay, so I've got kind of where I want my house. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a chimney. Now the easiest way I've found to add a chimney is we go to an edge. Okay, and I like to get straight off from it. Okay, and I, we're going to go up. i got a feeling that's not going to be the way I wanted it there. So I'm going to go up, over, and down. And this should create, if you look, it creates just this shape right here that I can push pull over. So if I want it right there, I can push pull it over to right there. OK, 
Okay, makes it nice and neat, easy to do. With chimneys, I want to create some realism here. Okay, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to select my, um, my pointer tool and then I'm going to go to my offset. So this allows me to basically draw the same shape, but I'm going to have, uh, let's do a six inch offset, which means that this is going to basically create a square six inches away from the other one. Okay, so I'm just going to press six and enter and you'll see that it creates that square six inches. Then I'm going to push pull it down. Okay, so I'm going to push pull it down. Oops, I selected the wrong thing. I'm going to select here and I'm going to go down and have a reference on my house. Okay, so excuse me on my roof. So now it's gone all the way down to my roof. Okay, so I have a nice looking chimney there. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to create a nice big deck on the back. Okay, so to do that, I take my rectangle tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to just draw a small rectangle. Okay, so I've got a 25 feet. Got it at, oh, 9 inches. So that's pretty good. I'm going to go out a little bit more. Okay, so from there, all I do to finish off my deck is I pull it out. And let's say I wanted my deck to be 15 feet long. I'm going to go 15 feet and it takes it out 15 feet. Okay, right now it's got, it should be touching the ground. So from here, I'm going to create just a little rectangle. Bring it up. Okay, I'm going to go to the other side. Create another little rectangle. Okay, and then from there I just push pull down again. Okay, because we want this touching the ground. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use this, the bottom of my house as a reference. Okay, so it'll come down right to the bottom of the house because we don't want it floating in the air. So it's nice that you can see it's on edge right now and it creates a reference. Okay, so it's a little dangerous right now. So we need to put a railing on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my rectangle tool again. And I'm going to go up. You'll see right now I'm at a foot, a couple feet. Okay. So I'm going to go over. I'm going to use that as a reference. It's kind of nice that you can do that. We'll have a railing, let's see, about. Four feet. We don't want people falling off of our deck. That's pretty important. I'm going to go down and over again. I just touch the bottom corner and it creates that as, a, again, another reference. Down and over. Creates it as another reference. Okay. So we've got a nice little um, deck right now. Okay. I'll bring this up. Okay. Create a little door. Okay, so now we've got that. Um, to create a yard, I'm just going to create a plot of land. So the easiest thing to do is just to create a rectangle. Because from there, you know, it, it kind of creates, you know, a ground framework for you. Okay. Um, from here, <coughs> I'm going to, you know, adding a fence around this yard is kind of the same thing we just did for our, uh, our deck railing. Okay, it's the exact same thing. Um, in the past, I've had a lot of kids that have wanted to create a, like a water feature. So to do that, you click on the free hand, okay, and to create, you know, a lake. You know, a lot of times we're just free handing this. Now you have to end where you start, okay. So we have to, and you'll know that you did it right if you click. See, I did this incorrect um, because it selected the whole rectangle. So I'm going to try it again and. So I'm going to try to end where I started. Okay, and then we're going to give this a try now again. And you can see it just selects this. Now from here, just like in our last tutorial, we can start filling in. If you want to fill in water, well, water is now at the very bottom. You can fill that in. Um, you know, roofing. I'll just do this very quickly. You can fill in my roofing here. Roof, roof. And roof 
And I'm not going to fill in the color for the, well, I can fill in the chimney right now. So we'll go to oh, stone. If I wanted to put it that stone, let me see if there's, I know there's something better, brick. Yeah, that's what I wanted. So if we just wanted brick, I can fill that in here. You can fill in the insides and the top. So you can get the realism, you know, is filling in the inside. Okay, makes it look pretty real. Um, now for your um, decking here, uh, what I found is, you know, in a lot of newer houses, you actually have railing that is um, glass. Well, that's actually pretty cool there. Okay, so we can um, have that as glass. Okay. And then lastly, what I want to talk about is imports and how we move those around. So if you go to Windows and Components, let's say I wanted to bring in um, a hot tub, you know, for my backyard. So I'm going to type in hot tub and you'll get what other people have created here. So if I find a hot tub that I like, uh, let's say I like this one, okay. So hot tub, you'll see that it comes in on my cursor. Or I'm hoping it's going to come in on my cursor. Okay, you'll see that this is off of my cursor a little bit. That happens sometimes. Okay. So from here, I'm going to click off of it because I want to close this. You'll see that it's selected. Okay. Now, if I want to make this bigger, I can click on this tool here. It's a scale tool. Let's say I just want to make it a little bigger. Okay. Or a little bit smaller. I can do that. Okay. Now, to actually move it, once it's selected, I can, again, kind of set myself up, get myself into a good position here. And I can click on my move tool, and this allows me, if I don't click on those little pluses here, it allows me just to click and move it, okay? If I click on these pluses here, you'll see this. You see that um, this allows me to click and actually rotate now, okay, which is pretty important. Sometimes you're going to have to get it at a different angle, okay? So if I, if I click on a plus on this side, you see that I can rotate it this way, okay, which really doesn't make much sense, okay. So if you're going to have to change your views a lot when you're using this, okay. So, um, you know, if I wanted to finish up, I'd add some color, you know, to the house. I'd add, you know, some color to the doors and the decking, and then I'd add, um, you know, some basic, you know, different materials, you know, for... Um, our yard. Now there's one last thing I want to show you and that's how to do different um, circular arches. Um, so if I clicked my rectangle here and let's say I had a driveway. Okay. Now if I wanted to add to this driveway I can use this. So let's say I wanted just a little um, circuit. Well I mean if you look this is this is basically an arch. So if I click here and I click again I can bring out my arch and I can click and then I can erase this and now this becomes one whole piece. So if I wanted to create, you know, a circular driveway, I could do it that way. Also if I wanted to create, you know, arches over doors, that's how I could, you know, do that too or arched windows right here. If I wanted to create an arch window, you know, I click and I click and I could bring up. Now with here, I just add another straight line. And from here, this creates one solid object, and I could go to my paint bucket, and I could go to translucent, and I could put that in. Now it creates this cool window, okay? Um, and that's kind of where we're at right now. So um, if you can finish this, that would be perfect. Hope this helps. Thanks.